Back to working on uh, my combination gear for my mill, cutting down this shaft, and it's look a little entertaining, so I thought I'd uh, start recording a little bit of it, because it's the hardened uh, outer shell of this axle piece I have, and I'm just having some uh, interesting bit of stuff come off here. Let me get this out of the way. All right, we're, I'm going to move this and get better view. Hold on. All right, let's try and continue on again. You know, hopefully this is a better view. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't borrow some kids, uh, one of the kids, a uh, selfie stick or something. It probably wouldn't be happy with the <laughs> shavings I'm getting on the handle there. tool steel I guess I'm not sure what axles are made out of probably they're meant to be pretty tough but yeah it's always fun just C6 carbide and half inch inserts I got from Harbor Freight I'm just using these up because they're cheap than what I had It doesn't do it if I do it at a lower speed, but I'm about 560 RPM. And I'm at uh, 25 10 thousandths on the feed. This kind of turns into like a brittle ash type of stuff. this up. I had a chatter issue. Well, I'm trying a little bit higher speed and see what you're doing here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Take another. Take 10. It's got to get down under an inch so I know I've got quite a bit to go anyway so I'm just kind of playing with this.
that you can get some of them better, more inserts and stuff. Uh, obviously, he's brazed on steel shank. Well, you might be able to see it in the video. These are just the brazed on ones, a carbide. Uh, oh. C, excuse me, C6 carbide from Harbor Freight. I just had to run down there and get them. I want to give them a try anyway. They're doing all right. It's got to be oxidizing because I can see sparks coming off of it. If you've ever overheated with an oxy-settling torch metal when you're trying to weld it, it has this kind of like sparks like a sparkler has, and it's kind of doing that. So I think that maybe just the makeup of the metal and just what it's doing here, cutting it, it's kind of does this oxidizing thing too. I mean, it's Yeah, if this stuff fills, it's got to be oxidizing it, <laughs> too, which is, because, I mean, this stuff is, I think, closer resembles ash compared to some of those other ones. There's other ones that come off there. If I do it, slow it, slow it down, maybe I'll do, well, now nah, it's too much to do the belt change. When I do it the, on the slower one, uh, 300 RPM compared to this uh, 560 at, uh, They'll come off if I get a good cut going and a uh, nice long thread like, not thread, but flat, uh, blue, you know, almost like an armor that they would have on uh, back in the old days, medieval ar armor where they just heated up just to blue it because it would kind of slightly temper the metal. Uh, the other stuff will come off, but this is different because it's all red hot like that, like it's burning up. <laughs>
And that's also the slow speed for feed. I don't know if it'll do any different. Let me uh, get another five thousandths. Because I'm getting to where I'm just going as slow as I can go because I'm trying to get my, you know, skill level up. Kind of know what what's going to happen with this and that. Obviously, learning how to machine <laughs> doing hardened metal like this is probably wasn't the best. But, you know, I was, I've was i already been trying to do some stuff with the mill, you know, metal-wise. and But, you know, jumping into this, which is some sort of tool steel that's pretty hard. Probably wasn't the best uh, start, so. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, we should, should be at a 10. <clears throat> so let's give that a try. This is a 30,000 feet instead of, or 30, no, it's 3.0030, so that's 30 ten thousandths instead of 25 ten thousands.
Yeah, my chatter marks are cleaning out of there. Make sure I didn't do nothing to this here. Bumped it a little bit. Yeah, I've already broke a lot of those other jaw chucks on the other one. But it was actually when a piece came out. It had a plastic piece, plastic gear I was trying to fix on a power wheels thing for my, my son. I was trying to put a piece of PVC tubing in there to screw it in. And they're trying to use it as a true uh, cut off uh, bit. Reminds me of uh, those little flint things you get in your camp gear where uh, you shave off the magnesium and then you spark it. It acts the same way like burning magnesium. Not quite. I don't think it's quite as flammable as magnesium is. I'm getting down through it a little bit or something. I mean, it's just you know, zipping through the stuff. I don't know if the further I get closer down, it looks like I, I'd still have a bit left of the, the hardened part where it gets the core that's probably not as hard. It's more of like a surface hardness. I don't know if that's what they're going for. Like a sword. Like a samurai sword anyways. The, they make those and it's they only harden the edge as much so the back spine has some softness so it can absorb the shock and stuff and I don't know if these axles are intentionally made that way or if just because how thick around they are that you can't necessarily yeah, I'm just stop that before you... yeah look at this stuff it's staying hot for a little bit
I don't think it's that I'm becoming better at being a machinist. I think just this hard stuff when it cuts off like that. Yeah, I can feel the lines in it. Mm, my rags and stuff. Got an oily bit on there. Because I don't think I'm going to. Getting some heat into it. But, uh, yeah, I think what I think the finish will be different when I get to the inner core is a little softer. I don't know, it's starting to get pretty warm. I don't know how the much of a difference that makes. Uh if I should let it cool down and keep cutting that, that part of it I'm not necessarily sure of but uh, I know I've heard some of the other machinists I've watched they uh, when you're getting down there you don't take your final measurements and stuff I think when you're getting like that so either way I'm uh, I'm done for the night I'm gonna uh, call it good and hope you enjoyed uh, watching all the sparks and hot metal cut off there and oxidizing or whatever to whatever it was have a good night